Hi, my name is Jensen, and um, this project has been fun, but a bit complicated since we did have to work talk through. I had to talk through to them through the internet, and that was kind of hard at first, but then I got the hang of it. Um, the research was also confusing at first until Ronnie. Is that his name? Sorry, Miss Ronnie. Yeah. Uh, hey. Came from the Ray County, uh, Ray County Emergency Coordinator. Coordinator, and uh, and when he came and talked to us, uh, it was more easier to understand how I was supposed to do my project. But through this project, we had to uh, write a bibliography with ten citations, and um, we had to do three surveys each <coughs> with ten questions each on them, um, and. I'm going to share emergency response plan for White Oak in case of natural disaster. If you're homeless or lost in your home in a natural disaster, there are three organizations that will uh, come in and take you in as volunteers. The Salvation Army, Highway 80 Rescue Mission, and East Texas Open Door Corporation of Marshall. Um, a place for your animal, animals to stay while you're recovering or you're in your rescue mission is the Humane Society in Longview, Texas. Um, Food and drinks is American Red Cross, and just volunteers or volunteers from churches and Longview or surrounding cities. Uh, for mentally challenged people, there is a place in Longview called the Harmony Living Center, um, and electrical companies for Gray County that Ladder would use is Upshur and Sweatco. Um, nurses, there's uh, pretty much just volunteer nurses in White Oak or surrounding cities. And um, backup schools in case Wido School got torn down in the natural disaster would be Spring Hill or Pine Tree or Glade Water if Spring Hill is too full. Um, in a terrible disaster, these are the needs of White Oak. These companies will come in to White Oak and help out. Bro Our meeting place would be at Brookshire's parking lot, and that's where Mer uh, American Red Cross and any other volunteers will be set up. Hi, my name is Lainey, and thank you for coming to our natural disaster presentation. And my name is Sydney, and uh, it has been a bit complicated working with the seventh graders, but I really enjoyed it. Okay, natural disaster. This is a picture of a tornado in Happy, Texas, which looks pretty big and probably caused a lot of damage. And this is a picture of, a torna in, of tornado damage in Raleigh, North Carolina, and as you can see, it caused a lot of damage. And here is a picture of a cul-de-sac in St. Louis. Um, this is what it looked like before the tornado hit, and this is what it looked like after it hit. And here is a picture of a tornado in Morganti, and as you can see, it doesn't look that big, but I'm sure it did cause a lot of damage. And this is a picture of a first aid kit that you need to keep in case of a tornado. So if you don't have a first aid kit, you probably should get one. And here's a picture of tornado damage in Arkdale, Cottonville, Wisconsin. And as you can see, it tore down this whole side of the house. And this was um, the garage, and here was the attic. And here are some things that you should do to prepare and to do after a storm. Here are some first aid kit supplies that you can keep in your first aid kit like gloves and medicine and bandages if you get cut or hurt, and some scissors or tweezers. And here are some places where you to store your things during a storm. In a dry area, in a cellar, with you wherever you decide to hide, or, in, or put it all in a latched container so that no liquids can get inside. And here are some places you could hide, like an underground cellar, or an area without windows, like a closet or a bathroom or a hallway or a bathtub. And if you're in a hallway or a bathtub, it's a good idea to keep a mattress over you just so you're safe. And here's some ways how to prepare for a storm. Get all of your belongings together like important papers. Find a good place to hide. Make sure you have all your family together so that nobody is left behind in this terrible tragedy. And get your safety kit together. And things to store are good to like have your important papers, like a birth certificate, bottled water, food, and extra clothes just in case something happens to your other ones. And some survey questions are that we ask some people are, have you ever been in a natural disaster? 
Uh, has your family or friends ever been in a natural disaster? Or where did or would you hide during one of these? How did or would you feel in this terrible tragedy? How were you alerted by the storm? How were you alerted by the storm? Or how would you be alerted? Did the disaster affect anything like houses? And how long ago was the storm? And what do you want your community to do as a backup plan just in case a natural disaster did occur? What kind of storm was it? And what kind of precautions did you take? Thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. And is there any questions? No? Okay, thank you.